In this video, I'm going to walk you through one of the templates found within my Tide to Twilight Ableton Live templates. Now, this is up for by donation on my site, sabakewaysmusic.com. You can just go there, download it if you want, or donate. But if you download these, they're going to be as packs, and you'll have to install the pack. There is information on that on my site and with this download. As soon as you install the packs, you can just double click and then you'll open it up and that will be the live set. So here, let's open up this one as an example. And just double click, it's gonna open up live and it's gonna have all the samples and instruments and everything ready to go. Right, and there's a little lesson here right on the side that talks a little bit about the song itself and how to save presets, so on, just to make it really easy. I'm just gonna close that. And the first thing you'll notice when you open these up is in arrangement view, it's laid out very easily. All the different parts are named, separated. It's gonna be very easy for you to see what's happening. Now at the top, this is just kind of notes that I've put together so you know what's happening. So here's the main section. It's kind of like part A, this is part B, it's a different part. Go back to a little break and a new part, part C. So you can just kind of pick a section and press play. I can go to a different section, like let's go over to here. And this is guitar, so it's a lot of it is audio all laid out, so you can open up the different audio parts, play around with it. But some things are more in the MIDI. So here's one example of this Duke as a MIDI. Actually, it's Dark Bells, and when you open it up, you've got all your parameters. So this way, not only giving you the, the track, but the ability to completely morph it, change it, make your own remixes, do absolutely anything with all the information, all the instruments laid out very simply. I also went one step further in the creation of this. That is bringing it over into Session View. So within Session View, it's basically the same thing, except for they're all laid out in clip form. So you can just come in here and I can bring in different parts. On the fly, I can just come up with new sections. So this is completely different than the original. or you could just play it in scenes, right? So the same idea over here at the top, we have the name of the different sections. Did that same thing here within both the master and also I still kept that composition track and put the MIDI there so you can kind of see what's happening. That way you can just easily start jamming away at this. Now all the different live sets, all 10 songs are put into simple, easy to use live sets like this. Oh, we also have return tracks and sends all set up if you want to add more reverb, add more delay, or, or you name it. So very easy to start building this out, modulating it, and changing it. Oh, as an example, if I just go to open a different live set, we can bring up Tides of Twilight. Yep. And you'll see that it's just it's going to be easy for you to know where the different parts are, bring in things in and out with session view as well as going to arrangement view and start building it out into your own track. Great, so enjoy getting in there. This is really like 
laying it all open. It's kind of like in a way I'm letting you see inside my mind into the way that I produce. And hopefully you come up with some really cool ideas. Definitely comment below if you have a song or some way that you like to use it or message me. I just love to hear the music that you might create from this. Thanks a lot. And again, check this out from subacreousmusic.com. All 10 tracks are free to download by donation. So might as well get it, play it around, get some cool presets. All right. Thanks. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. No. You get it?